What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Nash here. Welcome back to the channel. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, before we get started with today's video, the road to 200 subs has now come to a close, and we are now on the road to 500 subs. Who knows? Maybe we might hit 500 subs by the end of the summer. Only time will tell. But as I have said in previous videos, if this channel does get to 500 subs, I will open up this Korean LOB booster box in its entirety on the channel that I got from my partners at Collector Store. So be sure to check them out. Link and address will be in the description below. By checking them out, not only does it support them, it also supports the channel and I would greatly appreciate it on the hopes to potentially pull, uh, excuse me, a Blue Eyes White Dragon, a Dark Magician, a Red Eyes Black Dragon, a Piece of Exodia, Monster Reborn, Pot of Greed, the possibilities are out there. However, if this channel gets to a thousand subs, I will open up this first edition Toon Chaos box in its entirety on the channel that I also got from, from my partners at Collector Store on the hopes to potentially pull a Collector's Rare out of this set. But it wouldn't be the first time that I pulled that I pulled the Collector's Rare because I also pulled this. Freshly pulled out of my Genesis Impact box opening that I did last year is a Collector's Rare Beat Cup from the Underworld. This thing is absolutely gorgeous, even in the top loader. Obviously, the centering on the back is a bit off from top to bottom, but honestly, it really doesn't, doesn't make much of a damn. Because I am going to be getting that card graded, but I never came up with a good opportunity to do so. But with that being said, if you guys want to see those boxes get opened, maybe you guys want more episodes of WWE's Biggest Issue. Maybe you guys want more episodes of Yu-Gi-Oh's Biggest Issue. Deck profiles, card discussions, WWE topic videos... Or maybe, just maybe, you guys want some premium live event predictions and results. Well, if you guys want all of that and more, my channel is the place to be. So if you guys are new to the channel, and I know that, that a lot of you guys are, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, smash that thumbs up button on this video, and as always, make sure you guys are following me on all of my social media. My ads will be in the description below, as will the info to my fan mail. It will also be in the description as well. And I want you guys, want you guys to post in the comments below, answering the question of the day, which is this. Since its inception 25 years ago, what would you consider to be the greatest Yu-Gi-Oh! set of all time? Let me know down in the comments below, and also why. Why do you think that is the case? Let me know down in the comments below, because for today's video... I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, wait a minute, why do you have a, a Battle of Chaos booster box? Didn't you open that already? Yes, I did, but it's what's inside that makes the difference. Because I have... Literally, some, so, some of the craziest sets of the last 25 years since its inception. So, I have 24 packs of some crazy-ass sets. But, th that's not the only thing I'm opening... Yes, I have not learned my lesson. Maybe this time, the lesson will finally be learned, and I can finally pull that Berserker Crush dice. There's only too many boxes, but there are 28 packs in total, and the packs that I have, they're not. it's not just Hidden Arsenal Chapter 1. I have three Darkwing Blasts, which I get that it's been re that all the cards have been reprinted, but still, <clears throat> three power of the elements, Th 
three cybernetic cybernetic horizon which i think i've only, i think i only opened up like maybe one or two packs of this set when it when it was released so didn't really get get a whole lot out of it actually um three packs of one of my all-time fa favorite sets because it was actually one of the first booster boxes that i ever opened shining victories it's been a while <clears throat> It has been a while. We also have some classic packs, including Legacy of the Valiant, Abyss Rising, and then we have the 25th anniversary versions of Invasion of Chaos. As you guys can tell, it's got the 25th anniversary logo right there. And we also have, as well, Pharaoh's Servant, as well. So, I'm going to open up these two, two mini boxes, and uh, we're going to get straight into it. So, honestly, guys, you got, you got some, there are some crazy sets in, set, sets in this pile right here. These, these are, like, some, some of the best sets of the past like when you look at shiny shiny victories this was the set that that gave us the blue eyes support that everybody's been wanting to see everybody wanted to see blue eyes get support and we finally got it we actually got it and for our dice yep naturia i figured i figured <clears throat> and our promo card will be Formula Synchron, I'll take that. I will take... You know what? I'm going to take it out, out of the packaging. Give me a second. Give me one second. There we go. Out of the packaging. Absolutely beautiful. Honestly, centering is actually kind of perfect with this card. Not bad. So, so two packs. Now for the other one. Let's see what we can pull... Out of this one. Hopefully, it's that Berserker Crush dice. And if you and 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 also too, in in case if you guys were were curious, these these mini boxes plus the 25th anniversary packs of of IOC and Feral Servant, I got those from from my from my from my locals over at King Fandom. Not that far from here, actually, from where I live, funny enough. It's like maybe a block or two away. So it's not bad. Another formula. <clears throat> two packs. So that's four in total. And I had a look at, at the dice, and it's another Fabled. So the search continues, you guys. The search continues. But... Honestly, though, um, but, yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, again, again, I got these, I got the, the Invasion of Chaos packs, the Feral Servant packs, and the Hidden Arsenal Chapter 1 mini boxes from Kane Fandom. It's actually a, a, a local card shop <clears throat> on, uh, Sherman Way in Canoga, from, which is not that far, far from, from where I live. But, but everything else, all the other packs, I got them from my partners at Collector Store. So be sure, be sure to check, check out, check, check out my partners. Link and address will be in the description, like always. And let's get straight, straight into it. So I'm, I'm just gonna like randomly pick out a pack and just see what what we can pull so we'll start with hidden arsenal chapter one i know that a lot of people don't really like like this set because of, of the fact that a lot of the cards have been reprinted more times than i care to count but to be fair i believe the skilled i, I believe skill dre is still going strong at like at like 10 bucks or something like that so it's not too bad actually not too bad of a set but let's see what we can pull out of this one. So let's see. <clears throat> so 
So let us take a look. But with that being said, guys, hopefully you, you guys are having an amazing Wednesday today. Obviously, obviously it is a it is the start of a brand new year with endless possibilities as we ooh Barkion as we pull a Naturia Barkion. Brio, actually a really good one. A Dragoonity Dukes, which is not too bad. And then of course, Dance Princess of the x -Bear. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Again, again guys, obviously it's the start of a brand brand new year. A lot, a lot of crazy op opportunities that, that, that will be coming our way. Especially in, in, in WWE. Obviously, we saw last night on, on NXT, Dragon Lee defeated Lexus King to to not only retain his title to retain the North American title but we saw Obafemi win win the title by cashing in his opportunity his uh his breakout contract and that's pretty crazy that's pretty crazy all right you guys Darkwing Blast obviously the cover card the new Blackwing support is in here um I believe the cash tier archetype started in, in this set if I remember right it's been it's been a minute, but let's see what we can pull. Let's see if we can pull the star a starlight rare. So we have Amazon's War Chief, very nice. So yeah, guys, it's pretty crazy, pretty crazy year. Ooh, super rare, Bestial Serener. Okay, not bad, not bad, not too bad at all. Ooh, Frecky, Runic Fangs. And there you go, Underworld Ritual of Prediction. The new, the new, uh, the new Prediction Princess support was all, all also came 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 in this set. All right, you guys. Pharaoh Servant, probably probably two of the craziest cards you could ever pull out of this set are Jinzo and Imperial Order. If we could pull one of them, that'd be awesome. And of course, with this one, you actually do get a rare. Funny enough. We got Bernie Lance, not bad. There's our rare Hayabusa Knight, which I believe the first edition version, I believe, uh, came in at like was like a five dollar rare or something like that. Oh, ceasefire, nice. This is actually pro probably one of the best ultra rares you can pull out, out of Pharaoh's Servant, <clears throat> just because of ju just because of how how how. Just because of how good it was from back in the day. If a face down defense position monster or an effect monster is on the field, change all face down defense position monsters on the field to face up defense. Flip monsters' effects are not activated at this time. And also inflict 500 damage to your opponent for each effect monster on the field. So this was actually a really good card back, back in the day. So that's not bad. There you go. There you go. That was uh, Feral Servant. Um, let's go into Cybernetic Horizon, because this set was pretty insane when it was released. Funny enough, uh, I believe the Dangers debuted in, in, in this set, and this also had, um, what was it, um, uh, Bor uh, uh Boral Sword. So this will be interesting to see if we can actually pull it. Hey, mi Mini Boral, that's funny. Uh, uh, Restoration Point Guard, which is a pretty cool super rare. Okay, it's not bad. And then our rare is Dragoon Unite Luin. Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. There you go. So, no, so not much, not much out, out, out of that pack, but it's all good. It's all good. Our hollow stack is, it's getting there, you guys. It is getting there. Alright you guys, now, now we're going to go into, you know what, let's do Shiny Victories. <clears throat> so, so funny, so funny story on, 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 on this one. Um, the first time that I heard of, of, uh, Collector Store was actually right around this time, right, right around the time that this set was released. And what's, and what's crazy is that is that I kept buying, you know, buying Yu-Gi-Oh products from from them, but I never really used the promo 
never used any of the coupon codes that that they gave me from you know back then um so when when my brother and I opened up opened up this opened up a box the two secret rares that, that we pulled were blue eyes twin burst dragon and crystal wing synchro dragon which were two of the two of the chase cards out of the set and I basically made my made my money back cuz cuz crystal wing back then it was like a $30 $40 50, like almost like a $60 card and then twin burst dragon was like an was like an additional like 30 bucks so I literally made made all of my money back and then some. Now you really don't see them often get played and and at all anyway. So it's a bit it it it's a bit unfortunate, but that's just how it is. That's just how it is. So funny enough, with this set, the the digital bugs came came in this set. We got lunar lights as well. Ooh, ultimate falcon. Funny enough, this was actually a really good waking waking the dragon target, so that's kind of funny. So it's kind of funny how this car, how how that car was. Ooh, Rio. If you guys know about about that card, as I drop as as I'm dropping cards, if you guys don't, if if, if you guys know anything about Rio Okami, simply unlucky. A big shout out. He always came up, came came up, came up with the memes, like with the story on Rio Okami. So that's kind of funny. So that's kind of funny. There you go. All right, you guys. That was the first pack of shiny victories. Um. So next up, I think we'll do Power of the Elements. The new, the new Neos support came came in this set. This was a really good set. Obviously, you don't see a lot of the cards now, but still, pretty cool set. Pretty cool set as we pull a super rare. Oh yeah, the new Morphtronic support came, came, came in the set as well. As well. And there you go. There you go. Double Dust Tornado Twins. Target any number of set cards in in your spell and trap zone. Return that, return this card to the hand, along with as many of those set cards as possible. Minimal one. Then you can set spell spell traps from your hand equal to the number of cards you return to your hand by this effect. You only activate one double dust tornado twins per turn. Nice, nice, like small back row removal. Alright you guys, now we're going to go into yet another Hidden Arsenal Chapter 1 because obviously I had more packs than everything else. So, But but with that being said guys, um, I think 2024 is going to be a crazy year just because of the fact that, especially with, you know, in, in WWE, it's already off to a hot start as my cards are falling and I keep hitting my camera because of it. There we go. Anyway, especially in, in WWE, it is already off to a red hot star. We have a brand new NXT North American champion in the form of Oba Femi. Shouts to him for cashing in his oppor his uh, breakout opportunity and becoming the new NXT North American champion. Um. I, again, guys, I'm, I'm, I'm like dropping cards right now. Good thing it wasn't a hollow. Good thing it was just a common card and not, and, and not a foil. All right, let me reset this. Put the hollows here. Bring that up here. All right, you guys, now we're going to get into Invasion of Chaos. This set was absolutely wild. This was the set where the very first Yu-Gi-Oh! ban list came to pass. I mean, think about what was in this set. Chaos Emperor Dragon, Black Luster Soldier... Chaos Sorcerer, you had literally some of the 
most iconic cards ever to be seen, and they all got banned, and 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 a lot of them got banned. And what's even more crazy about 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 Invasion of Chaos is that is that twenty percent of the cards that were in the that were in the set all got banned, literally. So we have Gigantes, we have Gaga. We have Giga Gaga Gigo. Try try saying that ten times fast. We have Chopman, the Desperate Outlaw. Kind of a cool one. Ha! Ah, Dawn Turtle. Robin Zombie. Uh if your mon if your monster reflects battle damage to your opponent, send the top card of their deck to, to the grave. Think about that, guys. Pretty crazy. And Oh, nothing. Tower of Babel. Not bad. Still, funny enough, uh, Robin Zombie, pretty crazy uh, floodgate as well. Not much else to say about that. All right, you guys. Now we have Legacy of the Valley. Yet. I don't have to say anything about this set except that it was a nasty. It was a good set. It was a really good set back back in the day. The only cards. The, the, the only cards that I'm interested in are just so, are some of the Xyz monsters that they're in this set. So hopefully, hopefully we pull them. But if not, it's all good. Uh, Bougins, we got Bougins support in in this set as well. Crazy cards. Um, Luminous Dragon Ritual, Photon Charge Man, Ghost Tricks as well. That's another thing that that was pretty popular. Sylvans as well. Mikorange, Mikorange. Nope, unfortunately, no hollow. Starship Spy Plane. Not bad. Chronomalies as well is, an, is another thing. Gorgonic. Yeah, so we had quite, there were quite a few cards. Quite a few powerful cards back from back in the day. And now we move into Abyss Rising. This is actually one of the, one of the only sets that I have that has this kind of crimp. Compared to everything else, this is one, this is the only one. And I actually bought three of these from my partners at a at, at collector store. It was pretty insane. Give me one second. There we go. And I'm only doing this because apparently it's supposed it's supposed to be a trend. Trend. If you open up older packs, older first edition packs, you gotta do it. I have to say, not too bad. Not too bad at all. It's a meme. I get it. It's a meme. It is a meme, and it's supposed to be... And it's meant to be a meme. So, Madal Shades came, came, came in the set. This was a crazy one. Planet Pathfinder, a really good card. I think it's still like a five... Like, like a $5 comment, actually. It's, it's pretty crazy. Snow Dragon. Ooh! Spellbook Star Hall. <laughs> That's kind of funny. And Deep S and Solar Wind Jammer. I, I thought it was Deep Space Cruiser. Snow Dust Dragon. Very nice. And there you have it. There you have it. That was that. So um let's just get straight into the into the rest of the pack. So um again. So so uh, so uh, again guys, this year. I have no doubt in my mind, it's going to be a crazy year for, for, not just for WWE, but just for like Yu-Gi-Oh! and pretty much for everything else in general, just because of the fact that you look at what happened last year, and it was wild. It was just absolutely wild. I mean, think about what happened, happened in, in, in 2023. We had... We saw Rhea Ripley win the Royal Rumble. We saw Cody Rhodes win the Royal Rumble. We lost some incredible people, including guys like guys like Bob Barker and Terry Funk, and we even also lost Bray Wyatt as well. So 2023 was a crazy year for us. But I have no doubt in my mind that 2024 is going to be crazy. It is gonna be absolutely nuts, you guys. So get ready, because 2024 
is going to be a great 2024, in my honest opinion, as we get a Cataster and another and another Dragoonity. So, yeah. Um, as far as... Uh, as far as the, um, you know what, let's go Shiny Victory. You know what, mm, let's go Power, 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 let's go with Power of the Elements. Anyway, anyway, as far as, like, 20, as far as, like, what my New Year's resolutions were, honestly, I really didn't have any, because I don't really believe in New Year's resolutions, because... The way I see it. Ooh, ultra rare. Nice. Um, the way the way I see it, I feel like having New Year's resolutions really doesn't do 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 a whole lot because there are because there are people who they say that they're gonna do their New Year their New Year's resolutions, but they really don't. They usually don't do do them at all and and end up being being bullshit. So the way I see it, it's better to it's better to just instead of saying what your new New Year's resolutions are, it's better to just do them. Nope, nothing. Um, it's better it's better to to just do them and just like be you know just do them. Be yourself and just have fun, you know? So, 2024, I have no doubt in my mind, is going to be a crazy, crazy year as, uh... We'll go into Darkwing Blast this time. But, but I am, I, I am curious, though, of what your guys' New Year's resolutions work were, because, honestly... Because, honestly, I think, uh... This year is going to be a very interesting... Ooh! Oh, Secret Rare. Uh, World Sea Dragon Zelantis. I believe this was a jump promo, if I remember correctly. So, alright. Not bad. Not the Secret Rare... Not the Secret Rare that I wanted, but it's all good. Anyway, I'm curious of what your guys' New Year's resolutions were, because, uh... Because, honestly, the only resolution that I have is to try and produce more, not more, not more content, but just, like, better, better and better content, um, on, on the channel. And just continue to be, be myself. That's, like, my only resolution, honestly, because every time I made, I made New Year's resolutions, I would always procrastinate, and I would do nothing. Literally, I would do absolutely nothing so this year i'm just i'm just gonna continue i'm gonna continue to be me and continue to and continue the content that is my new year's new year's re resolution and it always works it works every single time anyway guys let's continue again but I, but again i'm curious of what, of what your guys resolutions were because uh who knows i think uh the answers that I, that I would see might be a bit, might be, might not be what I was expecting. Ooh, Leo, Keeper of the Sacred Tree. Nope, nothing. No hollow. That's okay. No hollows. Anyway, guys, give me one second. I gotta take off this sweater. Give me, I gotta, I gotta take off this. Uh, sweater, give me a second here. Give me one second. It's starting to get a little wa wa warm in the house, and I get it. Jack Skellington, I get it. Ah, there we go. Much better. We'll set this. We'll yonder that over there. Sorry, guys. Anyway, let us continue. Let's go Shiny Victories. Hopefully we'll pull uh we'll pull a, another secret rare from this set. Skip force, nice. Nope, only nope, only a mere super rare, which is 
actually, funny enough, one of the worst superheroes you could pull out of the out of Shining Victories. Anyway, continuing on, we have we are down to the last one, two, three. Nine packs. We're down to the last ten packs. This one included. <clears throat> let's see what. Let's see if we, if we could potentially pull a ghost rare. Maybe. It is one hundred percent possible. Oh no! We have dents. We have whitening on a singular card but let's see let's see what we can pull nice rare you know what i will take it i will take it we have a super rare number a heraldic king genome heritage actually a really good a really good uh rank four for for the heraldic deck final jester xc's extreme that's a really cool one and then of course snowman creator Snowman Creator. All right, you guys, we're down to the last eight packs. So let's get straight into it. I'm going to go Cybernetic Horizon first. <clears throat> so, so again, guys, yeah, I'm curious of, 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 of what your guys', guys resolutions were. Um, and uh, what goals do you guys have in mind for, for 2024? Because, honestly, 2024, my opinion... It's gonna be wild. It's 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 gonna be wild. Um, al already, it's off to a red red hot star, especially in WWE. As 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 I mentioned, we have a brand new we have a brand new um, NXT North American Champion in the form of 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 Obafemi. Um, we have now we found out. That Roman Reigns will be defending his title in a fatal four-way at the Royal Rumble, which is his own doing. As we pull an old Charer, a Morphage Lechery, which is pretty, which is pretty cool. Funny story. I don't know if you guys know. I I, I don't know if you guys knew knew, knew about this, <clears throat> but with um with the with with the Amorphage cards. They actually resemb they, they actually have a resemblance to 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 the seven deadly sins. So if you can so if you can believe that, that's pretty wild. And then of course too in in Yu-Gi-Oh, we already have have some crazy sets come coming out really, really quickly. We have we have Maze of Millennia coming out, we've got Phantom Nightmare coming out, Legacy of Destruction coming out. This year has is already starting to get red hot for Yu-Gi-Oh. So let's see what happens. Let's see what let's see what happens in uh, 2024 for Yu-Gi-Oh. As we pull a super rare, a Maisley super rare out of Dark Wing Blast. Not the super. Not not the pulls. Not the pulls that that. That I wanted for Darkwing Blast, but you know what? I'm not gonna complain. It's all good. We pulled, we pulled a secret. I think we pulled a secret out, out of it. What was it? Secret? Let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, yeah, we pulled, we pulled a secret rare. I'm not too, I'm not too pissed off about it. So we pull two supers and a secret out of uh, out of Darkwing Blast, which I'm not I'm not too mad about at all. As with the last Power of the Elements box pack, we pull a super rare. So not bad, not not too bad at all, you guys. Not bad at all. All right, you guys. We are down to the last. Five packs, and I'm actually gonna open up this last Hidden Arsenal chapter two, chapter one pack, and then the rest of these are all bangers, you guys. So it's gonna be crazy. Get ready. I'm just gonna real really quickly scam. 
scan through the packs. Miss Worm, Dark Paladin, Fable Grimrow. Nice. There we go. So that's it. Those are all of the packs that have hollows, that have guaranteed hollows in them. Now we got bangers, you guys. So let's start with Pharaoh's Servant. Anyway, guys. Anyway, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed enjoyed this opening. The very first opening of, of 2024. If you guys did, subscribe, hit the bell, all that good shit. Because I guarantee you, 2024 is going to be insane. It is going to be insane, you guys. As we pull pull a four-star late bug of doom and a Mr. Volcano. Uh, let's go Invasion of Chaos. Because I kind of because I kind of want to save Legacy of the Valiant and Abyss Rising for last. Lord Poison. Silphied, not bad. Inferno. Spirit of the Pot of Greed. Dralago. Nothing. Nothing. In fact, I don't think I pulled a single hollow. Aside from ceasefire, did I ever pull anything out of uh No, I did not pull a single hollow from Invasion of Chaos. That see, that's the nature of of IOC. Of 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 those old of those older sets, it's 50-50. It's either you pull a hollow or you don't. Alright, you guys, two two packs left. We got a single Legacy of the Valiant and then Abyss Rising. So let's see. But anyway, guys, again, again, but again, guys, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notification bell as we get into our last pack. And make sure you guys are following me on all of my social media. All of my ads. Will be in. Oh! <laughs> oh! Wow! Ulti Abyss Gaios. Wow! And it's first edition too. I'm gonna have to look up look up the price of that. Oh my god! Those are the last three cards. Oh my god! Look at that, you guys. Ulti Abyss Gaios. That's incredible. Wow, I'm gonna have to get 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 this sleeved up and put in a top loader because I'm getting that one graded. Wow. Anyway, guys. Anyway, guys. Make sure you guys are following me on all of my social media. My ads will be in the description below, as will the info to my fan mail. It will also be in the description as well. And on that, this is your boy Nash signing out.